Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to teach lessons on off to class in an in-person environment. So that means whether you're teaching in a classroom or if you're running face-to-face -face tutorials, this video is for you. So in, there's two basic choices um, when you're doing an in-person lesson on off to class. You can use multiple devices, and that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. So that means that your students will actually um, log into off to class on their device to be able to interact with your content live. Um, or you can always just use one device. So you can show the lesson on your device and share it with your students. That's going to be in the next video. So today is all about multiple devices. So your students will log into off to class um, at the start of your class, and then you're going to launch a lesson. So I'm logged into my teacher account, and today I'm going to teach my students um, this intro to Jaren's lesson. So I selected the lesson, and I'm going to launch it. And for simplicity, I'm only going to enroll one of my students into the lesson, Jose. If I was teaching multiple students today, I could continue to enroll, add students to the classroom down here. But for now, I can see that Jose is enrolled in the lesson. And I'm just going to take you to Jose's side of off to class so you can see it from his perspective. So Jose is logged into off to class. And he can be on any internet connected device. So this is what it looks like on a cell phone. This is what it looks like on a tablet. And this is what it looks like on a laptop. So Jose is logged into off to class and he presses this join lesson button. And he gets brought in to my introduction to Jaren's lesson. And I'm going to come back to my side of off to class, the teacher perspective. And I can see that Jose has joined the classroom. And I'm going to get this lesson started. So let's start working through the content. And I want to show you an example. Okay, great. So here we have an example. And I could direct Jose to type in and give me the answer for number one. So I'm going to come back to Jose's side of off to class. And Jose is supposed to type in the Jaren forms here. So. There we go. And I'm going to come back to my side of off to class and I can see Jose's edits here. I can compare them back to the teacher notes, which have the answers. And when I right click on any of Jose's edits that have been synced to my side, I can undo his text edits and bring the content back to its default state. And the other thing about right clicking on the content, is that when I right click on any word, this menu comes up and there's a host of adaptive features that I can control here as the teacher to adapt the content to my students. So up top, I can run a text to audio. I could Google translate this into my students native language. I can run an image search. I can um, open up a dictionary for that word. And all of these features, when I activate them, will actually be synced to the student side of off to class. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is that I can actually activate drawing mode. I can activate a pen for myself and my students. By clicking this pen in the top right here, I've enabled drawing mode. So you can see that I have a pen on my side of off to class. But when I come back to the student side of off to class, um, they have a pen and this is a matching exercise. So I could actually tell um, Jose to attempt um, the first one. So she enjoys running on the trails beside behind her house. And then when I come back to my side of off to class, I can see Jose's drawings and I could add to them to the annotations or I could erase the drawing for um, on, on the slides by using this undo button here. So that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.